Hi, I'm Steve. This is Narabut Thelma. Stove. Wood burner. Sink area. Starting to rip her all out. So the back wall's not wet, that's just a gloss finish. Uh, but all these units are coming out. So let's look into the, the where the old bathroom was. Just rip that out. Uh, this is the reason why. It's completely rotten. We'll take this wall down as well, so we can get into the rear. And let's do a darling engine. So just want to show you what we've got, what we were up to. Uh, so Thelma is a 1974 narrowboat. Um, she had all this lovely fit out uh, inside when we got her. Um, however, she is a wood and fiberglass uh, structure. So unfortunately, the everything's kind of rotted so we've started taking the uh, the top off uh, so we can get, uh, get it all replaced. Uh, so this is the new part of the boat at the moment. Uh, just going to show you around, see what, show you what we've done. Um, yeah, see what you think. So this is as you're walking down the boat. You've got a sink to the left, uh, stove to the right with some lovely drawers. Um, wood burning stove, we've got that up and running. Um, it makes such a difference. It's lovely and warm in here. Um, and we've got a CO2, oh, sorry, carbon monoxide and fire uh, detector just there. Um, so this is all the lovely framework that we've got. Really want to try and replicate this uh, at some point in the boat. Uh, it's so useful. Uh, fold out bed there, or was a fold out bed, unfortunately. We've, we've tried to preserve as much of this stuff as we can. So we've got templates, they're all uh, in, in the lockup. Um, but this was all separate seat in that side uh, another big seating area there so a really really cleverly laid out boat uh, come through into the next level we had a hatch here this was a wardrobe and then into this part this is where the toilet uh, and there was a cloak room here as well uh, was on the boat so we've got this these lovely massive tanks uh, for fuel um, but yeah, quite in the way. So there was a bulkhead there, but completely rotten. You can see just here, just how bad the wood was. Um, turn on the light on. So you can see just how bad the wood was here. All completely rotten through. Um, so we've had to, obviously we need to take it down. So we started, so we took the bulkhead down. Um, obviously not really the time of year you want to be putting new wood up on a boat. It just goes uh, wet and rotten so quickly. So this is all plywood. Um, so this is the frame we're currently building on the inside. It's a very deep drafted boat. Uh, so we've got a PETA PJ2 uh, air-cooled engine just there, um, just in the process of moving the day tank. So this tank was uh, here. This bar went across there to the separate tank, and the day tank then is just connecting it up. Uh, I'm going to renew all of these compression joints just here. Um, so, but that's all going to stay. So I'm going to leave the pump where it is. I might turn it round. Um, we might put a bit of a wall up there. But we're going to put something here to cover over the uh, pulley wheel and the alternator for protection to stop anybody catching themselves. But I'd really like to get this tank turned around so it's completely flat against the wall there. That will give us another foot of space and ability to walk through uh, to that side. Uh, through into here, um, you can this had a doorway before just a central straight onto the engine and you couldn't walk through so we've created this walkway at the moment to come around and we've just this is seat this was over that side we've just moved it over so just to give us somewhere to sit um, got another range stove there this was uh, for the rear boat in this cabin this was all completely rotten uh, we've had new uh, new metal work carried out across here at uh, the bottom of the gunnel, that was all completely rotted through. Uh, same on both sides, all, all replaced. Uh, but this had a traditional boat in the cabin, uh, but unfortunately it was letting so much water that you couldn't save anything at all. Um, the boat was riddled with 
wet and dry rot. Uh, even now, you know, we're struggling with just trying to keep the tarp on and we've got enough water out. So this is all going to have to be dried out. We're going to hope that because the wood was all treated, um, wood that we bought, um, it should be okay when we dry it out. We want to try and get this stove set up, um, get it somewhere, get it safe, make sure it's in correctly, like we've got on the other one, just to generate a bit of heat in here. Um, but we really need to sort the, sort the top out.